What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Squelch Panda here in my first YouTube video and also my first videoized G Fuel review. Today I'm going to be trying Honeyberry Banjo Kazooie flavor from G Fuel. I love G Fuel right now, man. I started not even a year ago and I'm already like hooked so much. You'll see all those tubs. I think I've got like 40. Oh, cow and hydration with a little panda pitcher. Cow and hydration, I've got about, I think like 42, 40, no, like 45 tubs right now. Something like that. 40 plus, I know that. So we're going to be trying Honeyberry today. I've, I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Haven't heard anybody say that it hasn't been too good yet. We've got our, uh, our shaker cub, little Bind of Isaac crying. Took him a little bit to start this, so he's kind of... A little condensation on them, but we got some ice in there. I fill my ice about halfway through, like one third, halfway full, and then I pour the pour the water in until the top of it gets to about that much air left, essentially. And that usually does pretty good for me. It doesn't make it too strong. Every once in a while, I have to add a little bit more water or powder, depending on if it's stronger or light. But uh, let's get this started. I'm put y'all right there. Got a new phone too, so loving the the camera on it. Right, we'll go ahead and pop open our cup right now. All right, so banjo kazooie, honeyberry. People are saying this tastes like the the golden Haribo gummy bears. Let's hope so. I really like Haribo. I've been so excited for this flavor, man. I couldn't get. I didn't get the box whenever it came out because the the U2s, I just wasn't really feeling it. It was kind of a little bit more pricey and I prefer shaker cups in whenever I get my collector's boxes. Um, so while you can pull the little tab thing off to open it, me and, and most other people would just open it back on to show you. Get, get nice and lined up. Put your thumb in, well, put your fingernail in it, make sure you have a little bit long enough nails, and just run it around. Just twist it off. A little seal on it. Let's see if we get any powder popping up from it. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. It's got some on the top. You can pretty much just throw that away or lick it or whatever you want to do. All right, it is looking like we did not get our scoop on top. Ooh, ooh. You'll be fine, sweetie. You'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to kind of have to do it. It's more, more like a yellow pink than I expected. I had to dig a little bit for it. I found it. No, nope, no, nope, that's not it. That is that is the the freshness pack. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Eh. Okay. Just make it work. That does not there. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like powder. Stay with that. Oh, hoping I got enough scoop for this. You know, whenever this flavor came out, it came out in a collector's box, and while it didn't come with a shaker cup, it came with this little like U 2s figure. It was really cool. It was like golden banjo kazooie, and it it matches the matches the tub really well. Let's see if we can go for round two to try to get this right. Is it different? Uh, oh, I think we found it. Oh, this is this is a digger. It's a digging one. Dig, dig, digs. All right, look at that beauty. Oh, it's packed. Get on, get on, get out of there. Get. Go on, get now, go on, get. Sorry, little, little Texas humor for you. Ah. Right. Hit, my, hit my lid. That's fine. Alright, so while this is the funnel you use for your shaker cup, as I get powder on my nose, while this is the scoop for your shaker cup, this top part you can take off because it's for funneling into water bottles 
And other than a few people that I know, most of us just end up using a shaker cup. So I'm, if you like using a water bottle, that's fine. Keep it on for you. Me personally, I just need this little scoop. So we're gonna, it's very pretty, pretty shaken up. Had to shake it up to get my little scoop out. And just, just a bit, a little, little, a little extra on the top. We can, we can go a little strong. All right, we're gonna pour it into our water. Yes, yeah, about about 16 ounces of water. Mine's easier somewhere around that. The water ball is coming like 16.9, so I'd say I'm somewhere about 16. Not hurting anything. You put the lid on. Ooh, that is it is yellow, yellow. It is the snow yellow? Don't don't eat the yellow snow. Just don't don't do it. I'm probably close this up. You can just you know, stop shake for a second. Get that back sealed up. I tell you, I, I, I'm enjoying this. I just got a bunch of new G Fuel flavors from the Bogo that we had around New Year's, Christmas time, somewhere around there. I think there was two. Yeah, Christmas, around Christmas was the hydration one. Got those in. A few hydration flavors up there. And then I got six tubs for my uh, end of the year BOGO. I shake it real quick. 30 seconds, kind of a minute, is it depends. All right, that is looking good. Oh man, Isaac is, it's okay man, shh, don't cry, shh, it's, don't, don't cry, it's okay. You're gonna be delicious, it's gonna be delicious, shh, it's okay. All right, let's, whoo! But look at fire cooker. Smells nice. I don't know how to describe this, but the, the smell matches the color. And not in a bad way. Just if you had to say like, oh, you smell a color. This smell would be yellow. Don't think that makes sense, but it's what I'm going to say. So. <sighs> smells refreshing. All right, let's get a sip. Honeyberry. It's supposed to taste like, like honey and berry. Not fully sure where I got that from, but uh, I have a hunch. So let's give it a sip. <sighs> Big sip. Ooh, that's nice. So sweet. It does does kind of have a gummy bear taste to it. Now, unlike some people, my my, uh, my experience with G Fuel, it usually takes me a few cups to like truly get the flavor and give it like a good rating and stuff. So I'm not going to give, my rating here is going to be kind of, it could change in the future. Let's give it a little sip. Oh, that is refreshing. It's almost like a... Uh, uh, cantaloupe melon uh, not like the taste necessarily like it doesn't necessarily taste like cantaloupe but it's got like that uh, that fruity waterness that like a cantaloupe or a honeydew would have I guess more like a honeydew than a cantaloupe but so far I, I mean I like it and again it's going to take more more time to really like figure out how much I enjoy it but Right now, pretty good flavor. I'm, I'm enjoying it. One more with it. All right, at the initial, ooh, ooh, that one was better. Oh, it keeps getting better and better. All right, at that initial score, what would I give it? Let's see, it's, it's not. I wouldn't say it's like god tier or anything like that. It's, it's really good. It's better than good. It's really good. Hence the name. I don't know. Some's, some's tell me around like a like a 7.9. 7.9. 7.9 feels right in my brain. It could be better. Again, this is initial. This could end up being one of my favorite flavors. But at the current moment, I'm kind of sitting at, at 7.9. 7 Alrighty. 
Well, I, uh, this is my first review on video, and I don't know how I'm going to enjoy it. Not saying it's going to happen every time, but I'm trying to get a little bit into enjoying this, and I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.